All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to yet another video. So in this video, we're gonna be covering some really, 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 really cool stuff that I'm really excited about. As you can see on the desk, I already have all of my dragsters out. So what does it mean if all my dragsters are out? Well, obviously, it means we've got more dragsters and a lot more at that. So this is an 11 car pack from, oops, uh, tilt the camera up there. Uh, Johnny Lightning Dragsters USA. This is an 11 car box set. Last time we saw a box set from Johnny Lightning, it was a 10 car box set. So you do get one extra car in here. Now, if you'll notice, this is the first thing I noticed was um, I already have shown an Ed McCullough's Revolution on the channel before and we do have a second one in here it is the same paint job however the something i did notice is that the shades of blue are a little bit different so not exactly a double up but it is the same car same paint job there is a lot of other really cool stuff in here as well there's uh, another hawaiian charger uh, another um similar to the green one we've seen. We've got a silver Chi Town Hustler, a Sox and Martin car, a um, lot of really great stuff in here. So I am super excited to get these out of the box. And that's probably gonna take me a little while just because these boxes are uh, pretty time consuming to open up. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the recording here and we will check these all out together. Um, real quick, before I open this up, I, I'll, I'll show you guys the back of the box real quick, just because there's a lot to look at on here. Um, first thing I saw was this price tag down here, $24.99. Um, that's not what I paid for this. <laughs> paid a little bit more than that for this. Not much more, but a little bit more than $24. Um, a lot of really cool stuff. So they have ads here for their uh, up and coming Muscle Cars USA release. Um, let me bring the camera in a little closer and check out some of this stuff. Uh, some propaganda for the Johnny Lightning Club. You have to call 1-800-MANTIS-8, not go to their website. You have to call, place an order by phone because this set is from, if we can see here, 1996 is our copyright date on there. So mid 90s stuff, no internet, no websites to go and sign up on. But um, yeah, really, really cool, super nostalgic stuff. So uh, go ahead and give the video a pause real quick. Okay, I'm back, but not completely yet. I am still getting some of these cars out of the box. I just wanted to, I guess, pop in. I don't know, it's it's kind of weird unboxing all of these cars at once and not showing each one of them to you guys. So I have to like, I get to like sit here and, and take in each car and I gotta tell you guys, these are some of the sickest Johnny Lightnings I have ever purchased. Um, there's some really cool stuff in the box aside from the cars too that we'll get to in a minute. But I just, uh, <laughs> I have to like express to you guys just how much this, uh, like, stuff like this just makes me love collecting these little cars, and it, it, uh, I, I'm very happy with this purchase, <laughs> I guess is what I'm trying to say here, is I'm very, very, very pleased right now. So, I've got one more row of cars to go, and then I will be back with all 11. Okay, we're back. Now, in the magic of video editing, that's only going to be a few seconds for you guys, but that took about 15 minutes to get all of those cars out of the box. Now, first thing I'm going to I'm going to mention, which is very interesting, is by sliding my camera over here. Um only, what is that? 1 2 3 4 5 Sorry. 6 six right yeah six out of the 11 dragsters in this set uh open these other five here do not they are double riveted so just base and body there is no uh no opening body to these ones which i find kind of interesting because all of my other dragsters that i have from johnny lightning over here 
Um, every single one of these opens up to, uh, to reveal the inside like that. So I guess not every car in the series does that. Kind of interesting. Um, so what I mentioned a few seconds ago is this card is the little card that was in the box with everything. And it gives you a little, you know, who each car is and the year and everything like that. But if you flip it over, you get a little bio about each car, which I think is just the absolute coolest thing in the world. So what we are going to do is we are going to put each individual car onto the lift and we are going to sorry i'm getting bombarded with text messages um what we're going to do is we're going to read each bio as we put each car onto the lift which makes sense right so which one should we start with uh, i'm going to look away and the 71 socks and martin so we'll grab that and pop it onto our lift here so this is obviously, judging by that grill, a 1971 Barracuda. And there's our card there. It says 71 Socks and Martin. Socks and Martin was a, uh, I gotta be careful what I say here, Plymouth sponsored or Plymouth owned? One of the two, but they were associated with Plymouth in the 1970s. Um, Socks and Martin was a race team. There's your Ronnie Socks as your driver. Martin was the, I guess, team owner. Um, so 71 Socks and Martin, we'll flip our card over, and it says 71 Socks and Martin, Ronnie Socks and Buddy Martin earn their place in history with pro stock performers like this beast. Um, there on the hood there, you've got Hemi, obviously a Hemi under the hood, it's a Cuda. Um, very, very cool car, I love this color scheme. This is what all, pretty much all the Sox and Martin cars looked like. They were all red, white, and blue like this. I have had the privilege of seeing a few Sox and Martin cars at uh, car shows before in my life. Different, uh, I think I've seen like a Roadrunner, stuff like that. Some uh, sponsorship decals on the back there. You got Champion Spark Plugs, Hooker Headers, Mr. Gasket. We love our Mr. Gasket on this channel, and I love my Hooker Headers. We got hookers on my car. Um, obviously no license plate or tail light details or anything like that. This is supposed to resemble a fiberglass body, I guess. So very cool stuff with the Sox and Martin car. Absolutely love it. I do wish this one, uh, had an opening body, but unfortunately this is one of the double riveted cars. Uh, it doesn't have a year maker model or anything on the bottom, which is interesting. You kind of expect it to say maybe like 71 Socks and Martin, but it does not. So we will get that guy into, oh man, we are going to overfill the parking garage today. <laughs> so we'll get that one parked up. And so we did the Socks and Martin. Let's go down a square to the 69 drag on lady or dragon lady if you will um this is an amx this is an amc amx we just saw one of these not long ago in the johnny lightning 10 car pack muscle cars usa so there's a regular amx and we'll take a look at the front yes that is essentially the same thing there um get that put away there um here we go 69 drag on or dragon lady i don't know which way is the way you would say it i'm just gonna say dragon lady uh the queen of the strip shirley shahan ran several different crowd pleasing dragon lady pro stocks so lady driver shirley shahan she shahan shahan i don't know <laughs> Um, another very good looking car red white and blue theme again looks awesome um, I mean it's an AMX so you would expect it to be red white and blue just uh, matches the Sox and Martin car very nicely some more uh, sponsorship decals we've got Valvoline and Krager and Goodyear on this one and there's a uh, champion LSC what is that one up at the front there Fram ew Fram filters yuck 
uh, Lenko. Lenko makes transmissions. If you've ever seen, if you know what a Lenko transmission is, um, I don't have to tell you. But if you don't know what it is, I'm going to tell you. Um, <laughs> so a Lenko transmission is a racing transmission, usually found in dragsters and drag racing cars, applications like that. It's probably the the manliest thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, so basically what you have with a Lenko transmission is you have, depending on how many gears it has, is how many shifter levers you'll have. So if you've ever seen the transmissions in the race cars where they have like four or five shifter levers coming out of the transmission, you've got one for first. So with that forward, you would let the clutch out for first, just like you would in a normal manual transmission. But then to shift to second, you grab the next knob over from first and pull that back. And then third, you grab and pull back. And then fourth, it has got to be the coolest way to shift a uh, transmission on earth. If you've got a moment, you know, after this video, make sure you watch this video first. Uh, go check out, just look up a video um, of a Lenko transmission and how they work. They are some of the coolest ways to shift a car out there. Absolutely awesome. Um, once again with this car, we do have no opening body. It does have a bit of an interior to it, so I guess because it's a pro stock, that's uh, maybe that's why it doesn't have a, an opening body, is because it's a pro stock, like the Sox and Martin has an interior. Oh, that makes sense now. Duh. <laughs> uh, if we take a look underneath, once again, we do have 1995 playing Mantis. Very, very cool. So we get that one parked up. And let's see. Next, we will do... Um, Let's go, let's check out the 71 Revolution because that is one of my double up cars, as I was saying. So here is our new 1971 uh, Ed McCullough's Revolution. It's kind of a, a light blue, almost the same color blue as the lift. Um, and then if we take a look at my old one that was in the last Dragsters video, that over real quick it's a much 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 darker blue and it kind of the sides are the same colors and everything the uh the paint scheme on the side is the same but the blue up here is definitely a different shade so i guess that's an easy way to differentiate i also i think um oh no i did not mark the bottom of this one because i did have a box for this but um hmm interesting stuff so this one was an individual boxed car whereas this one is in the 10 car or 11 car box set has a slightly different shade of blue um, but we do have the opening body on this one with the little support fork here looks really cool i love that the johnny lightning dragsters all have that little support fork it just adds to the realism of them we'll go ahead and close that up so you can get a look at that e there we go. And on our card, so we've got our 71 Revolution, shown racing here at Beeline Raceway in 1972 is the second generation Whipple and McCullough, or McCulloch. McCullough? Ah, who knows? Maybe you know. Let me know in the comments. How do you say that guy's name? Um, so there is the picture they are referring to, the 71 Revolution. Revel-lution. <laughs> um, and this is a duster, I think. I think this is a duster. I think that was what that comment said on the last video. Really cool looking car. Although, does the front end, mm, something looks different. They are slightly different. Oh my gosh, look at that. So the grill on this one it looks like it has chrome trim around the edge of it, whereas this one, the grill, the outside edge of the grill is black. Huh. Well, cool. That'll be an easy way to tell the two apart. Now I know which one came from where. Good stuff. Very cool looking car. So we'll get that one parked into the parking garage with the rest of the red, white, and blue cars down there. 
and we will move on to our next one. So what should we do? Let's do the 72 Chai Town Hustler. This is the silver one. So like I said before, this is not a double, but it is a second time seeing a Chai Town Hustler. So right here in the background, let me see if I can just focus on that. Come on camera, do the thing. It doesn't want to do the thing. All right. Um, this is the Chai Town Hustler in kind of a metallic green there. And that is one of my loose ones that I found. You got the red mark on the bottom that I placed on there to let myself know that I don't have a, a card for that one. So here is our 72, 1972 Chai Town Hustler. And this is, um, this is the charger body. Like the, uh, well, we've seen quite a few of these. Let's get that on the lift so it doesn't look broken. <laughs> there we go. Very cool looking car. I kind of like it in silver better than green. I mean, not to, not to say that the green isn't good looking, but the silver just sets this uh, sets this thing off. Looks absolutely great. Um, we do have our driver's name there, if we can focus on it. Um, nah, I can't read that. <laughs> it's too small for my eyes. Um, so this is our 72 Chai Town Hustler. We'll take a look at the card, the picture on the card there. There he is, blowing flames out the exhaust right there. Looks awesome. 72 Chai Town Hustler. Shown here at Martin in the early 70s, Pat Minnick's Hustler used a custom clutch and iron block Hemi. Okay, so that says somebody else's name that definitely doesn't say Patrick <laughs> anyway um, another it does have the uh, Ravel's Chai Town Hustler so I wonder if they were on the same team or both owned by the same uh, sponsorship there very cool looking car absolutely love it Take a look from the other side Again, Krager, Champion, and uh, Goodyear sponsorship decals on there. Does that say Hoffman? Hoffman what? Yeah, again, that's a little too small for my eyes. Very cool looking car, though. I like it a lot. And those are, uh, this is what I was talking about with flames. These are acceptable flames. They're big. They're, you know, they go with the theme of the car. They're done well. They're in the right place. It's on a race car. You know, there's there's lots of reasons that those flames are acceptable. I know I'm usually pretty picky about flame jobs, but that does look pretty cool. So we'll get this guy folded up real quick so you can get a look at it like that. Very good looking car. Iron block Hemi, huh? Cool, cool, cool. All right, so that's one row of the parking garage filled. So we've done the 71 Sox and Martin, the 69 Dragon Lady, the 71 Revolution, and the 72 Chi Town Hustler. Let's get the 71 Motown Shaker. That's this guy here, right? Yes. And this is a Vega. I remembered this time. <laughs> that is a Chevy Vega, not a Camaro. Um, where is it? 71 Motown Shaker. So Al Burglar's Flaming Motown Shaker was an annual fan favorite at drag strips all over the country. There he is there, doing a nice big burnout, smoking out the cab. Awesome car. So again, yeah, the flames big loud all over the car I love them they look good like that uh, there's our Motown shaker Al burglars looks like we've got a little scuff on the paint there I wonder if that's from just uh or is that a scuff or is that just yeah I, I think it is I wonder if that's from just rattling around in the box for 30 years you can just about see right there, the A in Al is a little scuffed up. Um, not the end of the world though.
can't really complain too much. I know it was in the box its whole life. I just took it out and I just unsealed everything. So I know it was in there and I know it was sealed. So uh, yeah, it must have been from sliding around in the box. Very, very cool car. Absolutely love the paint job on this thing. The blue and orange looks awesome together. I absolutely love, love, love all of these dragsters. Probably some of my favorite cars in my collection, and I'm pushing, let's see, we had 11 before, and now another 11, so 22 dragsters in total from Johnny Lightning over just over the past few weeks, too. Very cool stuff. I had uh, I had definitely read about this series. I had seen it talked about when I got the um, this Hawaiian dragster. This is a 50th anniversary Johnny Lightning, and it was a, a revival of the cars in this series. It was kind of a so this came out in 2019 as kind of a shout out to the cars that they used to release in the 90s. So. Very cool to start seeing the actual cars from this series. Uh, so we've got these five all done here. Let's do uh, let's do the '72 Color Me Gone right here. Oh, messing things up here. Hold on. There we go. So this guy clearly looks like a Challenger. Uh, early 70s Dodge Challenger. Looks like another one with a little bit of scrapes on it, uh, on the paint from being in the box. I wonder if they all have that. I'm um, starting to notice some of them do. Hmm. Wow. No kidding. Yeah, I guess they were in that box for so long just rattling around. Oh well. Um, anyway, that, not not the end of the world. Still a very good looking car. I'm, I wonder if I could maybe even just polish that up. Um, some cool sponsorship decals there. Krager, Doug's headers, Roger Lindem, Lindemood, Lindemood. Yeah, it looks like. Um, so what does it say about our '72 Color Me Gone? There we go. It says Detroit. Uh, bleh, there we go. Detroit-based Roger Linda Mood. There it is. Boils the hides with his "Color Me Gone" funny at Gainesville in 1972. So there he is, boiling the hides. <laughs> I'll say. Very very cool. Um. Yeah. Oh. Looks like we're losing our uh, support beam there. Keep that. So they do have little tabs under them like that that kind of hold those in place so you can display them either way. Give me one second. Let me see if I can rub some of that stuff off the fender there. Okay, I was able to get some of that scuff out with a quick t-shirt polish. <laughs> uh, it looks a little better. You can still see there's a mark there, but Again, like I said, not the end of the world. Really cool looking car. I like that red, white, and blue stripe down the middle too. That's awesome looking. Very, very cool. Of course, Color Me Gone written on the side there. Another one with uh, Lanko. Lanko sponsorship on there. Coming around to the back. There's our parachutes. Again, obviously no taillight details or anything like that. It's a dragster. <laughs> we'll get this guy parked up in the parking garage and move on to our next car. Because we are, we still have what, five more to go? And we're at the, just past the 20, uh, 21 minutes now. So, hang in there. I know this is a, a long video, but um, hopefully you're staying interested. So next we will do the 71 Hawaiian got right here our 1971 Hawaiian this is another Dodge Charger oh look at that fender there we go that's much better um, yeah it, it does seem like I am able to get most of this uh, schmutz we'll call it off the paint I think what it is 
is, uh, yeah. Yeah, you can literally see on the packaging where they were sitting oh, uh, so they were sitting like this and um, oh, that looks so ridiculous on camera but you can see the scuffs here where they were rubbing up against the uh, packaging fortunately a lot of this silver stuff is coming off so that is quite a relief as you can see that fender looks much better now um, so I'll probably go over the rest of these cars when I get a minute with a little microfiber rag and just uh, sit there and polish them up a little bit uh, so this is our third Hawaiian on the channel. We've seen the Hawaiian in green now. This was a this was a loose one, little red mark on the bottom, and we've seen the 50th anniversary Hawaiian as well in a much darker blue. But this will be our third one. So this is a 71, 72 Dodge Charger. Um, it says 71 Hawaiian, so I'm going to guess that it's a 71 Dodge Charger. Very, very cool looking car. I like it a lot, a lot, a lot. The Hawaiian is a really cool looking paint job. I think I like this blue a little bit better than the green, even though green is my favorite color. Um, some, uh, some different sponsorship decals on this one. we got Firestone, STP, Simpson... Autometer, Krager. There's uh, an AHRA, the uh, American Hot Rod Association, as opposed to the NHRA, which is the National Hot Rod Association. Um, two different series there. Very cool looking car. So let's see what our little card has to say about the 71 Hawaiian. There's a picture of the 71 Hawaiian doing a nice big burnout. And it says... Roland Leong, Leon Long, I don't know. <laughs> uh, his gorgeous Hawaiian funny at Orange County Raceway ran times up to 6.75 at 224 miles an hour. Yahoo, that's fast. Yeah, sixes are fast, man. Two, 224, 675 at 224. That is a fast car. Very, very fast. Absolutely awesome, man. Absolutely love it. So we'll get that one parked up in the parking garage. And we'll keep moving right along. I have been saving some of my, some of the ones that I'm most excited about. Well, two of the ones that I'm most excited about for the very end here. But um, that is all, what is that, seven of those? 8, 9, 10, 11, yep. Uh, so now we'll go right down the row here, starting with the 71 Blue Max. So we'll get that one onto the lift. Um, that's a Mustang. <laughs> Obviously a Mustang. Dead giveaway with that grill. And then coming around to the side, if you take a look at that body, that is clearly a Mustang with that... Uh, very very well known body style really good looking car I like that a lot so we've got Goodyear tires on this one apparently crane cams champion spark plugs Mac tools all kinds of different stuff on there what's his name Raymond Beetle Beetle um, so there's your 71 Blue Max doing a nice big burnout and on the back of the card, it says, Raymond Beetle's Wild Blue, or Wild Blue Max, produced a stunning 6.6 .6 second, 221 mile per hour pass right out of the box. Um, I don't know how out of the box dragsters are. It's kind of a, unless they're talking about the burnout box. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, either way, though, again, that's another really impressive time. 6'6 six, six at 221, that is fast. That is hair on fire fast. <laughs> the only thing really faster than these is the uh, the top fuel dragsters, and those are down in like the four and five second ranges now, I think. Modern day uh, dragster, like the rail cars that make like 9,000 horsepower. Those things, uh, top fuel, that's what I was looking for. Top fuel dragsters, those things are absolutely insane. 
Very, very good looking car. Nice to see a Mustang in there. It's been pretty much all Dodges and Plymouths and Dodges and Plymouths and Chevys. So nice to see a, uh, a Ford Mustang in the Dragster collection. And there's a peek at the bottom. I'm not showing the bottoms of these cars because they are pretty much, you know, all the same. So you have to trust me, I guess. <laughs> so next we will get into, this is the one probably I was most excited about, the 58 Christine. Yes, it is a 58 Plymouth Fury named Christine. Um, if you've never seen the movie or read the book, it's a Stephen King book that's been, that was turned into a movie uh, about a 1958 Plymouth Fury that a high school kid buys and it's a piece of junk and he fixes it up and the car is like possessed by a demon and well, you know, just go watch it. Go watch the movie. It's a great movie. But uh, this is a dragster named after the car from the movie. Very cool looking car. Unfortunately, we don't have an opening body on this one. Um, I guess this is more of a pro stock car. Really cool looking though. We got Richard Earls, Christine, some different uh, different sponsors on there. This one's got Weld Wheels uh, hooker. Uh, he's got a sponsor for Weld Wheels and Krager Wheels. Uh, interesting. Hooker headers, Lanco. There's the Mr. Gasket sticker. Let's see if we can get that smudge off the fender. Hold on. There we go. That's better. Uh, this one's having some trouble sitting up on the lift. I guess the uh, rear axle track width is not exactly wide enough for this lift. Um, oh, I can see a bit of an interior in there. So I wonder if this is like a pro stock that's just been tubbed out and, uh, you know, turned into a dragster. There's your parachutes on the back there. Some more... Ooh. I do that every time. <laughs> Some more sponsorship decals on there. And then, uh, what does it say on our hood scoop? Uh, Coffles Place. I don't know what Coffles Place is. But if it's on the hood scoop, it must be important, right? <laughs> yeah, very, very cool looking car. Absolutely awesome looking down the front. Love it, love it, love it. So on our card here, we do have 58 Christine. There's a picture of it all. Wow, it's a lot lower in the, uh, in the picture, but still. <laughs> on the back of the card, we have named after the resemblance to the car used in the movie Christine, Richard Earle's version is shocking. Yes, it is quite shocking. Very cool car. I wonder if he's killed anybody with it. <laughs> So we'll get that one parked into the parking garage and we are down to two more cars. Two cars left, we are getting through this video. So we are gonna grab our 92 LAPD. This is a third generation Camaro. Finally, 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 we have a third generation Camaro on the channel. I have pretty much every other generation of Camaro. So this would be uh, early 80s to early 90s would be the year range for this car um, on the card it does say 92 LAPD so this would be a 92 I imagine it says LAPD racing team to protect and serve yeah not a not a huge fan of police cars I don't really collect police cars you know nothing against them it's just not what I collect Usually the uh, the cars I like are on the opposite side of the law, so uh, <laughs> kind of ironic, I guess. But very cool to see a uh, a third generation Camaro, especially as a dragster and a police car. So checking a couple boxes with that one. Looks like our fenders don't have too much smudging on them, which is nice to see. That's a relief. Won't have to polish that one up too much. So we'll take a look at what it says on our card about the 92 LAPD. There it is doing a huge wheelie. <laughs> awesome. So Tony Fodi's awesome LAPD Pro Stock Police Cruiser is one of today's most popular strip blazers. And they say today because it was uh, this box set came out when this was a relatively new car. 
<laughs> Interesting stuff. Very, very cool. So we'll get that last one, or second to last one, excuse me, into the parking garage. And lastly, we've got, reset our lift here, the 55 jukebox. Um, it looks like a Ford, that looks like an old Ford. I'm not 100% sure though, it, it certainly doesn't look like a Chevy or a Dodge. So I'm gonna guess that this is a Ford. Uh, don't kill me <laughs> if I get it wrong. Leave a comment, let me know. If you know what the 55 jukebox is, leave a comment. Is it a Ford? It looks like a Ford. I think it is. Um, some interesting sponsorships on here. We've got a NOS sponsorship, MSD Ignition. That's some, uh, some later stuff. Um, really cool looking car. Massive wing on the back, all dragged out. Very, very good looking. So we'll see, what does it say? Oh, come on, focus, there we go. So there it is on the bottom right there. It says, Norm Wisner's spectacular pro-modified jukebox ranks among one of the most colorful dragsters ever. Um, I guess. <laughs> I mean, every single dragster over here, it, it looks like a bag of candy. They're all pretty colorful, but certainly this one is, uh, he's got some orange, red, green, yellow, purple, white. Yeah, he's got a lot of colors going on there. Looks really cool. Really cool looking car. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I think, uh, am I going to have to, what am I going to do here? <laughs> There's not enough room in the parking garage for 11 cars. So we're just going to scoot this over, I guess. And uh, those of you with OCD will have to forgive me for my uh, parking garage arrangement that we're about to witness. All right, so what did I do with my little cheat sheet? Here is our 71 Sox and Martin Barracuda, Barracuda, the 69 Dragon Lady AMX, AMC AMX, the 71 Revolution Plymouth Duster, 72 Chi Town Hustler Dodge Charger, and I think what I'm gonna do is just load these Bring you back over here and load in the next row of four. Okay, so here's the 71 Motown Shaker Chevy Vega, the 72 Color Me Gone Dodge Challenger, 71 Hawaiian Dodge Charger, and the 71 Blue Max Mustang. And we'll come back again for our last three. So there is our 55 jukebox, maybe a Ford. <laughs> the 58 Plymouth Fury Christine and the 92 LAPD Chevy Camaro. So let's do this. So here is all 11 of our new dragsters from the Johnny Lightning Dragsters USA 11 car box set. Probably some of my new favorite cars, honestly. These are absolutely beautiful looking cars. I love every single one of them. So make sure if you loved them as much as I did, leave a like on the video, leave a comment, tell me which car was your favorite. And uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me and I will see you all in the next video.